Today I'm going to explain my best method for getting out a stuck gimbal bearing without a gimbal bearing removal tool. First thing first, if you don't already have one, get yourself a nice slide hammer from AutoZone. They give you all your money back once you're done with it. And you may have to also rent the attachment kit for it. Comes with the cooler, three teeth, comes with a two, two tooth option, but you don't need that. You're gonna need this cone that also comes in the kit. You're gonna attach that to the end of your slide hammer. Once your cone is securely screwed onto the slide hammer, next thing is you're gonna construct your little puller here. I use the three tooth one, honestly best method for me. Just attach that onto the hammer. Okay, now that your puller is attached to your slide hammer, next step I found best is I'm assuming everybody's replacing their gaskets while doing this because it's such a big job. You can come over to your upper drive and remove one of the O-rings. With your optional O-ring now attached to hold your teeth together, you're now able to slide it into the gimbal bearing inside the gimbal housing. Now, a good note is behind the gimbal bearing is your oil seal. Your oil seal is pressed right up on the back of your gimbal bearing. So when you put the teeth in, you want to make sure not to go too far. You want to be right at the edge. Once your teeth are lined up inside of your gimbal housing on your gimbal bearing, you should just be able to slide hammer that sucker right off. Next step, once you successfully have pulled your old gimbal bearing out, well, throw that sucker away, you're gonna go after your grease gasket that's on the back side of the bearing. Now, I haven't seen anybody else do it the way I do it, but as simple as you got the gimbal bearing out, you can get the grease gasket out. You do the same thing. You slide it through, it hooks, and you pull it out. Now it should come out a lot easier than the gimbal bearing. If it gives you any trouble, just try spraying some lubricant, you know, PB Blast, WD-40 in there. It should be pretty well lubricated because of, well, it's job. So that's my advice on how to get a gimbal bearing and an oil seal out. May not be the best, but it's the method that I found that worked best for me at least. Highly recommend it. Thank you for watching.